ESC is a company that specializes in lockout tagout procedure creation. It's an engineering company, so all of the employees are full-time mechanical engineers, and they have experience creating lockout tagout procedures in various industry, from automotive manufacturing, high-speed packaging, pharmaceutical, hospitals, hotels, casinos, you name it, the lockout premise is the same. Lockout tagout procedures are required in every place there exists a worker, essentially, in the U.S. workplace. And the, the purpose of a lockout procedure is to protect the employee by showing how to bring that machine down to zero energy state should they ever have to service it. OSHA requires that you have machine-specific procedures for each individual machine. So any large building is going to have building support equipment, such as air handlers, and that includes casinos, hotels, in addition to hospitals, even skyscrapers uh, in big cities will have support equipment that's going to need lockout take out and they might not necessarily know that. In my experience, uh, we've come across work with some companies where they'll try to use um, computer controls or different um, like e-stops or safety switches as the lockout and one that's not approved by OSHA, two of those, that equipment, um, a program can fail and that can lead to the machine starting up or if someone else goes and restarts it at a panel. In addition to lockout tagout compliance, ESC specializes in confined space procedures because of the relationship between confined space and lockout tagout. And we also offer preventive maintenance procedures in a graphical approach to all three systems. Um, since the actual implementation of the graphical procedures, um, the employees, the time that they take locking out now is probably cut it in half, if not more. Um, they now have points of reference. They actually have pictures. If they're unfamiliar with a piece of equipment, they can actually take the procedure and walk through the piece of equipment to make sure that they're hitting every point and every lockout. You'll see that on a machine like this, we mount the lockout tagout procedure right at the point of view. What that does is when the operator needs to lock out a machine like this, their mind's focused on the problem, yet the lockout procedure is right there, makes it easy for them to follow, and also tells the operator how to lock it out in an easy to read grid format at the very bottom of the procedure. This is something that was long overdue. Very, very helpful. From a performance standpoint, it increased the performance, it increased the uptime of the equipment. I think the biggest benefit is that it, it keeps them from forgetting something that they're locking out. ESC started back in 2003 when we were incorporated, and since then we've done work for over 250 clients around the U.S. and created over 60,000 lockout tagout procedures and several thousand uh, confined space procedures as well as uh, preventive maintenance procedures, all in the graphical approach with the same function in mind to help speed up and make the workplace safer and more efficient. Um, CSX has the largest railroad system uh, in, in the East Coast. I think there was 3,500 different lockout procedures we created throughout their whole system. The biggest hindrance on a, on a client on this scale is um, the amount of procedures and the, the um, diversification of procedures and areas that you need to visit. So there was just so many different yards and so many different pieces of equipment we found. We tried to maintain a um, unique and customized uh, procedure for each piece of equipment, but we also tried to standardize it throughout the yard so we, we got the most efficient and effective way to lock out every piece of equipment they have. Once a client identifies that they need lockout tagout procedures, all they need to do is call or email ESC by going to our website, escservices.com. Once they've contacted us, all we need to start is an equipment list or even an equipment count. We can come on site and also evaluate their facility for free and show them what other pieces of equipment need procedures so they can decide how they want to go about fully becoming compliant. By the time we're completed with our job, we want to make sure not only do they have accurate machine-specific procedures, but that the employees understand how to use them and that the management fully understands how to maintain that system. In the end, a lockout-tagout procedure is there to protect the authorized employee's life when they're servicing the equipment.